How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I know I'm a little late to this, but my Dollar Tree just barely got in. The Final Faction Venom figures, Poisonous Edition. Uh, I went ahead and picked up the Karn Hive Class Brute, the Rumbler, as well as the Rumbler Weapon and Armors Kit. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys open so we can go ahead and take a look at this. I, I know this is not going to be any different than the... Well, maybe I'll get this open. I did not expect the glue to be that good considering how many I see falling off the, the pegs. Oh, it's really not that good. Look at that. It just fell right off. So the Karn, you know, Brute here it just has the, the five points of articulation. Really loose joint in that head. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that loose. You can see the peg holes in the back for the extensions. And then he does come with a blaster. I don't know if it's necessarily his blaster. I mean, it is. It did come with him. But I could have sworn I'd seen this with a different character at one point in time. But there is the Karn Brute with the, uh, or the Hive Class Brute Poisonous Edition Venom figure. I picked him up just solely to, to put in this vehicle. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one to see how different it is from the original color-wise. Okay. Oh, wow, I like that little detail right there. I was not expecting that paint detail. Little, little lacking right there on the side. But we go ahead and we get that wheel snapped in. Get that wheel snapped in. We get... Is it like that? I put that in upside down. I can't remember. Yeah, it's like that. And go ahead and... Which way does that back wheel go on? Okay, so then the back wheel goes on like so. So there's the initial um, rumbler from the hive, or the, the Venom Final Faction. Then you do have the expansion set. Now one thing that really blows me away is that these are only a dollar each, or a dollar twenty-five now. But these vehicles aren't horrible. I mean, they're not the greatest vehicles ever. But you take a look at that detail right there. I know the little doom buggy that they have. I didn't see the little doom buggy in my my Dollar Tree, so I wasn't able to pick it up. But the little doom buggy that they have is quite spectacular. So that wants to fit in there rather loose, I must say, but it does definitely fit in there. And then Yeah, I had that right the first time. That arm in there that arm in there and then you have it there is the expansion pack for the the hive rumbler hive why do i keep calling it hive i think it's just venomous at this point oh wow that's that's loose enough there that it wants to interfere with the rear wheel but what i'm gonna do here real quick let's go ahead and get this mini in the vehicle there See, so that fits in like that. So yeah, that's real loose. Give me just one. Let's go ahead and see if we can't do a nice little comparison here. Just to do a little bit of comparison between the colors. So there you have it. There's the original version. So as you can see, it's the purple with the, the silver highlights, where this one is green with the the or the black with the purple. Well, I guess that one was severely loose too. I don't know why I thought that was tighter in there. But there you have it. There is the Karn. Final Faction Venom Edition or Venom Poisonous Edition it says Limited Edition Venom Vehicle. Uh, I dig it. I think it's a really nice, really nice little subtle change for it. Um, these vehicles here, I've heard of a lot of people using for GI Joe for the uh, Cobra Law vehicles, which I really, really like and appreciate that fact using these for Cobra Law. But right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say, leave that like, hit that follow if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.